All right, now we're going to make the tie. So we need our J hook, our size 10, 6 millimeter hook, and the same yarn we made the convertible with. We're going to make a chain of three. They're going to be little loops. I'll show you. The end of your ties are going to have these little rings on them. Like this. Okay, so we're going to start out by making one of those and the directions say to chain three. So one, two, three. Then you want to go and join to form a ring. So that means you go back into your first stitch. Um, since I'm counting my slip knot as a stitch, we're going to go in that little loop there and draw up and draw it through and that's slip stitching for the ring. And you make nine single crochet in the ring. You got to tug at it to find that hole. Now I have a video on how to find the center of a granny square that has a little tr uh, tip or trick to help you keep finding that hole. But when I make my slip stitch, I just kind of keep my finger there to help make the hole. So to make nine single crochet in a ring, for single crochet you chain one. And then while I'm also working over the tail while I'm making those single crochets. So that's one. Two, zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then it says to chain 78 but this is what I'm doing this is not necessarily in the directions but this is how I'm going to do it I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet it'll just keep my little ring rounder if you notice on the one I made for the sample this one's a little more oval because I didn't chain one at the beginning and I just went straight into the chains. This one's a little more round. So that's, I like the round better than the oval one. So that's how I'm doing it. Okay. Now this tail here, just leave that out of the way now. And then you're going to make a chain of 78. So one, two, three. Pause the video here. When you get to 78, then resume. Okay, I have my 78 chains made. And the next step it says, and then directions, to slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook forming a ring. Okay, now if we were working back across, slip is stitching in the fourth chain from the hook. So it'd be one, two, three, four, would be going like this. But this isn't going to form a ring. We want to form a ring. So what we're going to do is cross this over the, the chain we just made over the working yarn and do it this way so it'll make more of a ring. Now one, two, three, four. And when I slip stitch into that fourth, I'm going to go under two loops this time. This will help make it more round, but make sure you keep your thumb in there so you don't lose that center. Okay, then it says chain one and turn. Well, since I crossed over, I'm not going to turn. Um, work nine single crochet in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Just pull it around a little bit to make room, eight, 
nine. Now this chain here, we need to hold that out of the way. We need to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Finish that ninth single crochet. Now if we hold that back here and slip, then the, the ring is going to be in front of this thing. So we want to pull this chain back through in front of the working yarn like this. I played this, with this trying to get the um, circle to behave properly. And then slip stitch into your first single crochet. And then we're going to end it off. I end off with a chain one. Cut the yarn. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to weave in the tails. Okay, for this one, the tail of the ring we just finished. Let me zoom back out a little bit. We're going to want to run, flip it the back side facing, we're going to run it underneath these stitches to draw that hole shut a little bit. So just kind of the yarn needle up under those stitches. Now you can leave the ring open or you can draw it shut. It's a, a personal preference, however you want to do it. I actually think the ring is kind of cute. And I'm not sure how the designer intended it to be. But one thing about crochet, you can stray from the design a little bit and make it your own. And do your own thing with it. Doesn't mean that it's that you it would be your property right for the to the pattern of the design, but tweaking it and customizing it to suit yourself is the wonderful thing about crochet. Okay, now I've drawn that through and I'm drawing the whole shut when I'm doing it. I'm going to go around twice just to make sure that that tail isn't going to come out of there. Okay, and then cut the yarn to the work. Then you can tug on it a little bit to flatten it out. Nice little circle on the end of the chain. And then I'm going to go back to the other end. Okay, focus camera, focus. Okay. <laughs> and again, going from the back. You see the yarn's coming from this way, so this is the direction we need to go in drawing the tail under. Going clockwise. And because we worked over the tail, we've already gone, so it's already running around through once. So we don't need to do it another time. We can this should be enough. Cut that off. Nice flat little circles for the end of your drawstring. Okay, now the next step is we need to thread the tie through the five rings on the hat, on, through the ch chain five rings of the hat. And I'm going to start at the seam. Okay, and if you look, your loops kind of twist. You want to have them all the same direction. Um, you can even take your big crochet hook and go through like this. And you will see that they all come from this thing and then it loops behind it. So you want them all going in the same direction when you put that on there. Okay, so you can uh, just take your fingers and loop. The ring through all the way around and then you'll come out on this end here. 
So I'm going to pause it here and then when we come out on this end, I'll be back. Okay, I've got my string woven all the way through. And now your convertible is finished. The first video of the series I showed you the different ways to wear it. And so you, um, I hope you enjoyed this crochet along. Make some for gifts for your family and friends. And don't forget to make a couple extra for charity for the holiday season and, and also any time of the year because people aren't in need just at Christmas time. They're in need all year round. So, uh, happy crocheting.